Hello and welcome to the Studio Nights. We are here today with Joe Marshall from the Patriot State Committee. Um, welcome, Joe. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, it's a big, exciting year for the Patriot State Parade. Uh, it's a big comeback for the parade. Could you maybe tell us a little bit about what happened last year uh, first so we can get a little history and maybe what, what's different this year? Well, we're really psyched to be bringing the parade back after taking the year off. Um, many people don't realize that it takes a lot of money and funding to put on the parade each and every year. And all that funding outside of a small contribution from the town is raised in private donations from individual people and businesses throughout the town. Um, last year, it just happened to be we were not getting enough money in to be able to run the parade last year. So unfortunately, we had to cancel it for the year. Sure, sure, yeah. So what, what, what has changed this year and um, um, how have plans come about for the Patriot State Parade this year? Well, a new, a new commitment from the town, you know, it's said we're going to have this parade no matter what. Yeah. So the committee formed together and with help from the Board of Selectmen and the town manager, really put the efforts forward to go out and get the individual businesses that we needed to get and to get individual contributions. So we have large donations that come in from companies like Armstrong Ambulance and John's Landscaping, all the way down to small $10, $25, $50 donations from individual people and small businesses that really wanted to see this parade come back this year. That is great. And uh, we're excited to have the parade coming back. Um, could you tell us a little bit about maybe some of the events you have scheduled for the parade and, and maybe who's going to be there? Well, the parade's going to be April 17th, mm -hmm. and it starts off at 2 p.m. The start-off location is up around Brattle Street, and the parade route continues on down Mass Ave and ends around Walgreens at Linwood Street. Um, great viewing areas in around Town Hall um, where there's announcements and a lot of performance happens in around the Town Hall area at the reviewing stand. Um, different groups that we have this year, um, we have the Minuteman Fife and Drums out of Medford, which is a large group. Um, we have Tony Barry Band, the Worcester um, Brass Band, the um, Boston um, um, Fife and Drums. Oh, yeah. And the um, various other town groups like A Dog and Cub Scouts and Girl Scouts and Little League teams will wow. also be there, you know, filling in the area. So this parade looks to be a, you know, a very decent sized parade. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a packed event. Yeah. yeah. Earlier in that day prior to the parade, there's also going to be a, a revolutionary battle reenactment at the Jason Russell House. Yeah. So we've been able to bring back a lot of old traditions that have gone away in the last few years. That is, so that we're is looking great. forward to that. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, again, could you say what time it's all going to be starting and what date? Uh, the reenactment starts around noonish, with the parade starting around 2 p.m. Sure. And um, is there any place that people can go to maybe, if they were looking to get involved with the parade to help out, is there a place that they can go to? Well, right now on the town website, there's a parade section, and in that parade section, there's a sign up genius that tells what we need for volunteers for the parade day. So you wouldn't imagine how many people you need to actually make this parade march down the Ave. Yeah. You know, it's like creating a big script and yes. you're controlling all these different groups and we need people to put them in places and we need people, you know, there's horses and horses leave things behind <laughs> and someone's got to sure. pick it up. So we need people to do stuff like that too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't, I, I can't imagine all the work that goes into it, but, um, uh, it was great having you here to talk about this. If there's anything else you want to say, I don't, I don't know. Um, well, I hope everyone comes out on April 17th at 2 p.m. and enjoy Arlington's recreation of the Arlington Patriots Day Parade. I hope they will, too, and I think they will. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, thank, we, we're glad to have you, and thanks for all your information about the parade. Um, that'll be it for the studio nights. Uh, I'm Mike Robichaud. This has been um, 
Joe Marshall, and we hope to see you all at the Patriots Day Parade.